Guys are like weird fortresses of feelings. They feel just as much as girls, but instead of sending out their feelings to the front lines, they hide them away behind walls of seriousness and secrecy. Every now and again, though, a secret soldier feeling escapes the fortress and lets you get a glimpse of him. This video will help you recognize 10 escapees that show his feelings for you. When a guy likes you, he will always do this. Number one, he'll get excited to introduce you to his friends and family. When he likes you, you're the center of his world. You're awesome. You're the bee's knees. You're dank and every other slang word or old expression that means great. Chances are he's already mentioned you to these people. So now they'll finally get to put a face to the name. He isn't going to be like those avoidant players who would rather jump off a cliff than introduce you to their parents. He's going to jump at the chance to invite you over for a family dinner, a group hangout with the boys, or any other event where you'll run into his nearest and dearest. Number two, he'll act like a gentleman. Culture and every romantic movie ever seen have taught this guy about being a gentleman. It signals that he respects a woman, wants the best for her, and is there to take care of her. He may walk you to your car, hold doors open for you, lend you his jacket when you're cold, or any other thing that combines respect with a sweet gesture. This is one of his attempts to woo and convince you that he's boyfriend material. If you're into it, be sure to gush over the act so it's reinforced and he takes the note. If you prefer a different dynamic in a relationship, just say so and he'll probably adjust accordingly. Number three, he'll prioritize your needs. Unless he's a teenager who hasn't fully developed mentally yet, a guy who likes you will get better at identifying and prioritizing your needs with time. It takes a while to learn how to read someone, but if your relationship is older than a few weeks, he should have gotten the gist of how you behave. If you seem like you're bummed or unhappy with something, he'll be quick to catch on and ask you what's up. He'll do his best to remedy the situation and get you guys back on track, even if that means temporarily putting his own needs on the back burner. This guy will have no problem self-sacrificing to make sure that you're at your best. Number four, he'll share his worries with you. In the fortress of feelings, there are also worries, fears, and insecurities. If he starts to open up about any of these to you, you're in luck. This only happens with a select few in his life who he genuinely trusts. You've made it into his inner circle, and he's likely feeling for you. This sign becomes even truer if his worries are about you. I remember when I started getting to know my current partner. He brought up that he was concerned about where our friendship was going because I was only in that city for a study abroad program and was set to leave a month or two later. I could tell that he really liked me at that time and this conversation actually opened up the doors for me to consider staying in the city long term. Long story short, we're still together four years later, so opening up about your worries could be a big first step. Number five, he'll joke around to lighten the mood. Since a guy who likes you should be better at reading your emotions, he'll do his best to keep you happy and satisfied whenever you're together. When you have a rough day, or even if you two disagreed earlier on something, you'll find him trying to lighten the mood by being silly, making you laugh, or showing you something he knows you'll enjoy. Careful though, because if he's too immature, he may deflect with jokes to avoid serious conversations. It's all about balance, so he should be trying to lighten the mood without avoiding anything that should be discussed. Number six, he'll protect you. Men protect those they love. It's nature, it's cultural, and it's embedded. This isn't to say that women don't do the same, but we're talking about guys here. If he likes you, he'll protect you. He'll stand up for you if someone hurts you, threatens you, or seems to threaten you, be it physically, emotionally, or verbally. He takes these things personally and will seek revenge on your behalf if he needs to. Number seven, he'll listen to you even during your silly moments. 
I'm the first to admit that I often say too much. Whether it's answering a question or just talking about my day, I could go on way longer than necessary. Men, on the other hand, are much more concise. For every one word a man says, a woman tends to say three words. This could make guys great listeners, especially if one is into you. You could be ranting, raving, complaining, or daydreaming aloud, and he'll be there to hear you out, even if the topic doesn't merit the attention. Number eight, he'll compliment you. Perhaps the most obvious sign on this list is getting compliments from this guy, but I'm referencing a specific kind of compliment. Saying you look hot or that you're a cool chick is something any dude could say just to get with you, but a guy who likes you will compliment you past the surface level. He'll compliment how you do things, your way with words, and the manner with which you handle certain situations. You can tell these compliments come from intense observation. They aren't just said to get what he wants. Number nine, he'll follow up when you're mad or upset. If this guy is just into you for your body or to pass the time, he isn't going to give it much thought when you suddenly give him the cold shoulder. On to the next one, he'll think. On the contrary, a guy who really cares for you will follow up with you to try and fix things. He'll put in the effort to get things back on track. Now, don't take this to mean that you hold all the power. You should try to be mature enough to talk about what's bothering you instead of ignoring him in the first place. If you care about him at all, meet him halfway and communicate with honesty and respect, even if you're mad or sad. Number 10, he'll apologize. The cherry on top of the previous sign would be finding a guy who is mature and dedicated enough to apologize when need be. We all have our pride. Trust me, I used to be one of the first people who refused to concede in an argument. But there comes a time or person in one's life that changes that. It's common sense and a very old saying that pride comes before the fall. He knows this and it isn't worth losing you over. When you care enough, you put the other person before your pride and say sorry when it's called for. If the guy you have in mind only shows a few of these actions, he could still like you, but the more you can check off the better. Keep getting to know him and try opening up yourself to motivate him to do the same. And for the ladies listening out there, do you do any of these things to show you like someone? I'd love to read your answer in the comments. If this video was insightful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more. As always, thanks for watching. You guys rock.